So here's a quick review of Avoco Noise 4.14 Ursa for Redmi Note 10 Pro and Pro Max. So I am using this ROM for last few weeks. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the battery backup, the stability and the smoothness. So let's get started. So first of all, in the Android version, you can see this is based on Android 14 and the maintainer of this ROM is Lemmy Zohaib. So thank you Lemmy Zohaib for making this build for our devices and the Android security update is of 5 April 2024 and the kernel is OpenLA Phantom kernel and it is not upstreamed as you can see in the version it's 3.39 and the Linux status is enforcing and talking about extra features there is no features in the about phone but in this rom we get the thermal profiles that we get in the system using which you can optimize the performance as per your preference and in the system we get the gestures and in gestures we get a lot of gesture options so we have the swipe to screenshot the quickly open camera navigation mode one handed mode and quick touch and all of this working fine i did not face any issue using these options so in gesture navigation we get the gesture indicator if we hide the gesture indicator the ime button space under the keyboard gets hidden so that's a good feature and being a pixel rom it's good that we have that option and we also have the playback control now in security and privacy we do get the face unlock along with the screen lock and fingerprint and in more security options we have the app lock now in wallpaper and style we get the typical interface just like other roms and if i go to more wallpapers you can see we have the awaken wallpapers along with the ai wallpaper and emoji workshop and we have the always on display on this rom so if i turn on the always on display you can see it looks like this if i turn it off it goes like this and if i turn it back on it looks like this and you can change the looking of the style so this is how it works and this one is the most liked one you can see the transition that's pretty smooth and in home screen we get these options we have the themed icons but the themed icons does not apply to the app drawer and in display if i go to the refresh rate option you can see we have adaptive refresh rate so if i show you the current refresh rate you can see it's fluctuating around 80 fps to 100 fps as you can see it's not actually running at 120 all the time which kind of saves battery so you can see when I scroll the refresh rate is hovering around 90 fps so that kind of saves the battery and in sound and vibration we get the increasing ring volume which is useful for the ringtone if you use any loud ringtone that will be helpful and we also have the per app volume control and the Dolby Atmos so in Dolby Atmos we get this interface I think this is the Moto Dolby I guess. So in apps we have the default apps and cloned apps. So in cloned apps you can use multiple instances of same application and in notification we have these options. We have Sanar heads up and the heads up option with the flash notification. Now talking about the battery life of this ROM. When I use 120Hz refresh rate the active drain is around 10 to 13% and sometimes it also goes to 14% per hour and the idle drain remains around 0.6 to 1% per hour and the screen on time that you can see is 5 hours 37 minutes so max to max we get around 6 to 7 hours of screen on time and you can see when I took this screenshot there was 20% battery remain so we will easily get around 6.5 hours of screen on time now this is the screenshot that I took while I was using the 60Hz refresh rate so in 60 hertz refresh rate we get a very good battery backup you can see i got 8 hours 59 minutes of screen on time and the battery was drained to around 1% so this clearly means i got 9 hours of screen on time when i used 60 hertz refresh rate and when i used 60 hertz refresh rate the active drain fluctuates around 8 to 10% and when the battery was low the active drain increased to 12.55% and the idle drain was 0.56% as you can see here and when you use this always on display your idle drain increases to 2 to 3% per hour so even if you are not using your phone your battery will still be drained 
and in battery section we get the battery saver battery usage and the charging control and in charging control we can set a certain limit for charging and two more options the first one is automatic schedule and second one is custom schedule the charging will start at a certain time and the charging will automatically stop at target time then we have the status bar battery indicator and the battery widget and we have the battery information which shows the current battery health of your device as you can see my current battery health is around 93 percent and the temperature is 35.7 currently and in network and internet we have the private dns in and in private dns we only have one option which is cloud -fair dns okay now talking about the benchmarks i already set the antutu and the cpu throttling test in the benchmark profile as you can see in thermal profiles they are set to benchmark so after setting them i got this much score in the cpu throttling test you can see the maximum cpu throttle was 95 percent and the graph is pretty stable as you can see and talking about the antutu score i got 3,72,347 which is a decent score it's not excellent you can say and talking about the stability and bugs this rom is really stable i did not get any bugs in this rom and the smoothness is really good and you can see it's currently at 120 hertz and there is no jitter and delay in the animations and if you want to install this rom i can surely prefer installing this rom because this has the unlimited google photo storage as you can see but in this rom we don't get the unlock higher fps option so if you use bgmi and call of duty you will get limited frame rates just like you get in the stock rom which is miui now talking about the camera we get the miui camera in this rom we don't get the leica camera but however the slow motion is not actually working i have tested the slow motion it shows like it's working but when you see the recorded video you will get to know that it actually doesn't work and in the 4.14.393 open la kernel we don't get the kernel issue so if you want to use kernel issue then you have to use any other kernel or you can simply use magisk for routing your device and talking about the device certification the device is certified as you can see in the play store the device is certified and i did not have any issue using the payment tabs in this rom all are working fine so this was a quick review of this awaken os version 4.4 and if you want to give it a try just go ahead there is no issue the battery backup is just amazing you get nine hours of screen on time and the smoothness is really good and this is basically a pixel rom kind of pixel rom i can say because it looks almost the same like pixel os and for installing this rom just go ahead and install the orange fox erops compression build and just flash this build and then format data and reboot to system the rom will definitely boot on your device there will be no issue so this is it for this video it was just a quick review there is no gaming performance test if you want a gaming performance test then just do let me know in the comment section i will try making a video on that so yeah that's it i will see you in the next video bye